and I hope that the, my neighbors are not recording me, recording myself, and then posting it and making money on their channel with my stuff. I just, this is so stupid, but... And they are going to be what? Raw, real, and on freaking cut. I'm not editing. I You might see me sneeze. You might see me yawn. You might see the inside of my nose because I, and I need to blow my nose, but I don't have time. I do not. And I do not. I refuse to post up this kind of content, this prep for the fester, fester. <laughs> I was trying to say vendor and festival at the same time. And I said fester, uncle fester. I refuse to post the stuff for the festival after the festival are going with do you see all these colors like those colors just make sense you know when there's a there's a thing on instagram that says show something in your office that makes sense but then it doesn't make sense and they're like bop 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 well i'm gonna have to like this absolutely makes sense so if we're not making fun of the reel and we're doing a real reel that is in fact da 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 this makes sense right here. Good morning. I always forget to start that off the right way. I just always start with a big sigh and then like, oh, so this is what we're going to do today. So I'm going to try to be a little more spunky. I guess if you want to call it that. And try to get a better angle. You don't want to see the bottom of my neck. Like, it's just not hot. So, anyway, um, I have a Walmart order to get. This lighting sucks. I have a Walmart order. Look at all that stuff in the back. You can, well, this is like, this is the stuff for the fest. So, it's still sitting over there. I'm leaving it there for the next two weeks. Well, week and a half. Um, so I'm basically going to get a Walmart order and that's, it's only 751. I need to check in right now because I have to take him to school at nine by nine. So in order for him to have the snacks for his lunch bag, he does not eat school lunch and I don't blame him. Um, there's no snacks here. So I, I need to get that. So we're going to pick that up and then race to come home and get dressed and pack his lunch and all that. He showered last night, so it's that's good. We're trying to get into a routine because if I'm not in a routine, he's sure as heck not going to be in a routine. And wait, how can we find you? Well, I'm not there yet. I, I just clicked a bunch of stuff. I hope it's not saying it does say you've arrived. Okay, I gotta go. All right, we're back. So this was, it is not the main reason of the order because we needed some snacks for school, but these. So I'm using Square for to ring people up at the festival. And I set up a Square account a couple weeks, no, it was like a few weeks ago, a month ago, I don't even know. Set up that account, and I swear they said there was a free one included. I, I, I didn't get it in the mail. Well, we're like, super crunch time, there's what, like eight days left until I have to leave town to go? Like, I needed it. So when I went online on their, their site and logged into my dashboard, was saying you can order it we'll get to you within 10 days like I don't have 10 days or any kind of room for errors in delivery or delays in delivery <sighs> square reader I got two they were so cheap at Walmart square is a rip if you buy it through their website forget it this one I forgot which one was which but I'm pretty sure the one here so something like that would get plugged into um I'm going to say a normal Android. The phone I'm using right now does not have that. It has that dang C port. 
as per our conversation yesterday, my, a, it wasn't a conversation, I was talking to myself, as per my blog yesterday, it's a seaport, so it's, it's just, they don't have that option, so I'm going to use that in my laptop, and have my laptop available to take payments, as well as this for the iPad, because we need a backup. Because if this, for whatever reason, short circuits or blows up, I don't want to not have a backup. Or even if the iPad stops working or, or whatever. Like, I, I need to have two. So one was $6.99. The other one was $9.99. Like, what? I'm pretty sure Square was way more than that. Anyway, I've got... I just wanted to show that because that was a huge thing that I needed today. And I... And I love Walmart pickup. I They're a pain sometimes, and they sometimes they don't have things and whatever. But for the most part, I hate going into the grocery store. It is my least, one of my least favorite chores. I'd rather scrub toilets. So, I it just gives me stress and anxiety. And I, I just, I, I like hyperventilate in the store because it's just so stressful to me. And... So I just have been doing Walmart pickup for years now. So when I found out that they carried these, and not only carried these, I was able to pick them up with my groceries. I was like, yes, please. So I got those. I'm not going to drag on. I was successful in moving all my videos, moving them, not copying them, moving them to the USB that I bought yesterday. And you know what? I did it overnight. I put it to transfer, I don't know, midnight or something, whenever I was going to bed, put it to transfer and bam, it was done like in the morning. Like, yes, this, I just wanted to tell you about this shirt because I'm trying to include what, things that I make, whether they're in my shop or not, um, include things that I make in the videos so that people know that I'm every day, almost every day rocking what I make because why the heck not promote yourself right <clears throat> so I'm gonna finish putting these groceries away and I will get back whenever I start working and get my life together because you know why here I go again starting another rant because I have more Atkins shakes they didn't have the caramel one this time but we have the mocha latte. So I'm going to do that in my coffee this morning because Dunkin' is getting really expensive. So we're going to do that. I will, after I'm done getting him ready, I'm going to come back um, home and make that. I just, I need to get him to school. It's already 825. So take that clock. Like we're going to beat you and we're going to get to school in time. Thank you. I'm not going to say all right. All right. So. No, because this is the way it's for every clip. Not even every video, every clip. So, we have Georgie. Help me, Billy. She's there every morning. She's like the tiniest woman crossing guard. And she reminds me of Georgie from It. I don't even know what it is. Yeah. Georgie doesn't wear a crossing guard uniform, but with that hat. I guess it's the hat. It's it's definitely the hat. Oh. <clears throat> so update on the transfer sheets. Speaking of money that I spent, that $200 or whatever. So what they do is, and this is what I learned yesterday from the lady that I spoke to. She said, so I did gang sheets, which are, I think I already said it in another video or another clip. They're like 17 and a half by 12 and a half or some, it, it's close to that. Gang sheets are, I'm doing screen print goof proof. If you go to transferexpress.com, like that's, you'll just have to look at it. Screen print goof proof and gang sheets are supposed to be one color and I guess when they create the so uh, mine is one color so I, I had to I showed you that I'm doing 
one set of 25 in black, one set of 25 in white, and no, they're not the same design, so they're different. Um, but anyway, I have the tiniest lines in my logo. Both my logos are very thin writing. So when they go to make that screen print, if you've ever, you're gonna have to Google a video of screen printing, I don't know what happened here, but this guy's mailbox, somebody like hit it or ran it over. There's cops over there investigating. The guy's mailbox is like cemented in the ground and the whole thing is just shattered. I don't know what happened. <clears throat> I'm getting sidetracked. He, he's our landscaper. So I, when I drove by and I saw, I was wondering what's happening. So with the screen printing, Google or YouTube a video on what screen printing is because I I don't know much about it. But all I know is they have to create a screen based on your design. So they create a screen that they push paint through, right? Like a big machine is going to do that because nobody's going to sit there by hand, I don't think, and do it. So this is why it's so costly because they have to create the screen and I think the measurements have to be point, the thinnest line has to be 0 0.004, or maybe it's 0 0.04. I'm pretty sure it's 0 0.004 inches. And that's so small, so small. It can't be 0 0.04 because that's half an inch. So 0 0.004 inches is the thinnest they can go. Well, I can only go so small or only go so thick because I not only is the logo are the logo line small then the logo is small for this particular thing because it's going on the neck so it's going to go on the inside of the t-shirts is this tagless no this has a tag all my shirts have tags on them eventually in the future I'm going to look into um getting them tagless so that like I don't know just something a little more like clean looking so anyway not only is the logo thin the design like it's shrunk down to like an inch and a half to fit on the neck so wait neck the back of your neck yes that is the to, to fit on the back neck part of the t-shirt so they said we can do it but we can't guarantee that it's not going to say, for example, the letter E. So how the letter E has, and I'm drawing it backwards because it's in selfie mode, but the letter E, so that spot with the E in it, uh, with um, the hole in the E, I guess, if you shrink it down, you kind of, you lose that, like the, the smaller it gets, the smaller that hole gets. And when they go to cut that, then it just doesn't, it doesn't work. So they call that closure when it's so small that like you can't tell that there's a little s space there in the E they call it closure so for them closure is not good you would think that like closure when it's like I need closure like closure to me is a good thing in most ways I guess but um closure for them closure in s screen printing is bad and I didn't even know that so when I read that on the website when they were talking about closure and like they're like, oh, you can put notes on there when you place your order so that just let them know. Like, if you're good with your design and you're okay with it and you need it now and you don't care. Help me, I'm poor. No, I, the phone died. So in the, in the van, when I was telling you about the trans, look at this. I am poor. I, I need to buy some shampoo. I'm running out. Okay. So. With Transfer Express, let me finish telling you about that before I forget and go on to some uh, other topic of the day. So I'm just sitting next to the charger here and I just wanted to finish while it was still on my brain. Um, so with the Transfer Express sheets with that closure, closure is a good thing in um, screen printing. So they gave me two options and one was for their design team to do what they can with it. I don't even know what they can do because I uploaded it as a PDF. So how can they turn that? Like they don't have each individual design. So when I'm working in Canva, 
I'm designing in Canva. I didn't send them my Canva file. People look at Canva like that's not even a real, it's not a PSD file. It's not a, I don't even think you can save it as a dot Canva file. You have PDF, PNG, SVG, yada, 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 all the other, <clears throat> you know, ways to save a file, but a Canva, like you say, a Photoshop file. Yes, it's a dot PSD. So if they had Photoshop and I sent them the dot PSD file or illustrator or whatever they, they use, they can actually edit the design from there. But this is just a PDF file, so I don't even know what they can do with it, but I'm sure they have some tool or some program that will try to look into that. Anyway, they gave me that option where the design team can take a look and see what they can do, but they cannot guarantee that it's going to fix anything. So that's free. They don't charge anything for that. I just figured when he gave me that option, I was like, they're probably going to charge, but they, they don't. So um, that's the first option. The second option is for me to go back in and change it. And it's like, I there's nothing to change. And the video I was recording yesterday, you can tell from there, like, I did what I could. I did what I could. I changed the font to, um, actually, was it a video? I think it was a screen share, which I have to insert somewhere in this video here. But um, it was a, I just lost my train of thought now. It was a screen share where I was showing you that I had to, so the font that I'm using in the Sabrina Marie Art logo, they have, I think it's called Alta Light, A-L-T-A Light. And I was able to find the regular Alta or Bold or some kind, I, I think, or maybe it wasn't Alta, it was the other one. They both start with an A. Either way, I was able to change one of the fonts to Bold. The other one didn't have Bold. So I just, I had to wing it. And I, I'm not going to make my logo bigger just for the purposes of screen printing because then like the whole inside of the back of the shirt is going to be my logo. Like I need it to look, I need you to be able to see the logo without having to like move the tag or it, it just, I need it to look right. So I'm not changing what I have. I spent a lot of time on it. This order is long overdue and ain't nobody got time for that crap. So I just said, please have your design team take a look, see what they can. Let me know if I can do anything on my end. Maybe send you the SVG file. Maybe you guys can work with that. But I know the reason. So if I if if they come in, if they don't come in good, they don't come in good. And I I don't know what else. I, I need them. And if I'm still going to iron them on, even if you can't really see the fine, fine print. Maybe I'll just use the SM art part and not the studio letters because the studio letters are super small. We'll see how they come in. But I don't have time to be redoing anything at this point. So I, I, I'm feeling the pressure now. I am. I'm trying to keep it together because if I crash due to stress, who is going to run that booth? Like I can't leave Desiree by herself to run, first of all, her business alone. Well, not alone. She's got her husband going with her, but I, our husbands are not really in the loop. Like I feel like we created these things and we just, they just fell into it by default because like, uh, that's your job. We're married. So you're coming. Like, it's not really fair. I should have asked, but listen, we can't leave our husbands to manage the tent. So her and I are basically, so she's doing stuff for her business. I'm doing stuff for this, for my side of the business. And our husbands are not super involved with the setup and like what we want to do and what we want to bring and how we want it to look and how we, because it's our thing. It was our idea. Like, I'm not going to drag you into something that was my idea. And then when you come up with something, it's like, that's not how I want it. Like, it, if he was doing something, I would give my suggestions, but I wouldn't, you know, I, where do you need me is what I, where can I help you? Like, what do you want me to do? period. So in this case, if we both crash and burn because of, well, burnout, basically, I mean, we're both dealing with things right now where it's like just life, but you can't let, it's just, I don't know. It's a, it's a hard balance, but we have to get through this. We signed up for this and we put so much money in it that we didn't have already. And 
this has to, this has to work. This has to work. It is going to work. It will work. It will. So we can't like, we can't let our, I just, I need, I need to work. Right. And I need to just relax in the sense of like, get things done, but don't overdo it. Like I went to bed at, I think it was like midnight for me is early. Midnight is early. Is, doesn't that suck? Midnight is early and I try to get up like seven, eight o'clock between seven, eight, somewhere in there. And that's still not enough sleep. It's not. So we're like nine minutes in the freaking nine minute video. I'm going to have to clip out half of this, but at least I didn't yawn so far. At least I didn't say what's happening or what's the other crap that I was saying yesterday. All right. All right. So blah, blah, blah. Like I probably say like a hundred times a day, but anyway, we can't burn out. She's relying on me. I'm relying on her and we both are relying on our husbands to be involved in the event in the sense of they can't burn out either because they are like our biggest support. Like they are the ones that are going to be walking around and mingling with people in the sense of like passing out flyers, letting people know to come by the tent the booth. Um, yeah. And just being, being there as extra set of hands. We haven't even had a meeting. We haven't even had the meeting that we said we were going to have with them prior to this to let them know what we, not what we expect of them, but where we're going to need them. If I say square, my husband's going to be like, what are you talking about? Cause he doesn't even know that I'm using square as the, the, the app or the device to ring people up. So if I say, go ring them up in the, like use the square, he's going to be like square. What? I, I don't know. I don't know how much she's explained to her husband, but clearly we need like a last minute meeting. So when my husband comes back, maybe this weekend we can just get together for a couple hours and just talk about it because it's not going to make sense. We, we can't wait till the last, the day before. And then nobody knows what's happening. So Anyway, I'm going to get to it. We're 16 minutes into a video and I'm sure half of this is going to have to be snipped out, but um, I'm just going to finish putting away whatever I bought this morning from Walmart and finish charging my phone so that I can give you some juicy content like beds aren't made, stuff's all over the place. Can I just show you? I don't think I... I did show you the foam fingers. So these hats, like something like this, Florida. Are, are hats one size fits all? My head is big. Like I can't do hat. I can't do hats. Ow, this is like squeezing my head. So if you're a guy and you wear a seven and a half hat, I like, what size hat are you? I don't even know what size shoe I am. Am I a 10? Am I a nine and a half? I don't know. Is it supposed to feel tight? So I don't know what the heck size shoe I am, much less a hat. So I'm sorry, not seven and a half, seven and a quarter. They are all seven and a quarter. So I'm guessing that's the average size head. Um, but yeah, these are, so these I got in, why is there, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five colors. Um, let me got them in five colors. There's only okay for whatever. Why is there only one of? I don't know why there's two. Okay, the two green ones. Let's see, I don't even know what I'm doing. So these need to get tagged too with like pricing, but I don't want to put my my um smart logo on it when I didn't make these. You know, these are just for sale. They're Florida. Like who the heck doesn't want a Florida hat? So there's one, two, three, four, five colors. But why did I get three of these, three of these, and then two? So they sell them in, in 12s, in, in dozens. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, that's why I did that. That's why I did that. And they must have not had, like, three blacks and three blues. So, or maybe I just... You know what? I don't know. I think they only had those colors and then I had, in order to make 12, I had to, they just were not all going to be the same quantity. So those hats are probably going to fly the heck off the shelf. 
these hats are amazing these um they're just so beachy and boho and chic i guess i don't know what chic is because i'm not a fashion person but um we i mean down to the the displaying the shirts how the heck does somebody display shirts at an event i've seen so many different ways so we saw this ladder thing where it was like it the la i call it a ladder you're not going to climb up the ladder but it's a thing that kind of um angles down and it has um rungs is that the right word ladder rungs and then you um kind of fold the shirt in a way where it hangs over and you can see the different shirt designs i have 30 i think i have more than shirt 30 shirt designs i can't have a 30 rung ladder i'm 30 rung um in a tw however high tent that is what is that 12 15 i don't know how far it goes up it's just not possible so and then like the la the tent doesn't have stiff sides like it has like fabric sides so i don't think that's gonna work i've seen people just take hangers and hang it to the metal support of the tent desiree brought this she brought this, so maybe I can use that, but I don't know. I don't know. We're winging it, guys. We are winging it. And not just guys, ladies too, because, you know, everybody's so sensitive nowadays that if you don't mention both genders, it's like heart attack. So, got her, her logo... Her QR stickers. I love these. I don't know. I did a great job, didn't I? She did a great job on her logo. So, I mean, that was like 99% of the work. All I did was, and she did her Q I did nothing. I, I literally just put a circle around it. And her, originally I did the circle as the DK compass circle. And I'm showing you my laundry room, like, yuck. So... But it, it was too thin and the cricket was wanting to cut. It's not an even circle. Like it's got little details in it, fine, fine details. So the cricket was like shaking, trying to get all these fine curvature. I, I don't know what it was doing. So I just made this line, made it thicker. But see where it cut? The cricket's amazing. I don't think it cut perfect, but it's going to work. And she said she's going to stick this on her, um, the back of her jewelry. Her jewelry guys if she doesn't sell out she's gonna sell out but when she sells out and buys more of the same jewelry that she's selling out of at the fest go to her shop and buy it because I'm telling you when I saw what she would like she yeah she said she was having jewelry and I was like okay whatever when I saw it in person I died resurrected and then said yes please can I buy some it's just really nice and it's that boho chic tropical like bling that just is amazing and i am just obsessed with these i hope that these steal the show if this doesn't steal the show i don't know what will because these things when we played with them the other day okay we tested it out we weren't playing we were testing just like they do when they do crash tests at like you know ford and like all whatever other places like all the car places you test your merch we got those foam fingers to give away to the best customers maybe we'll use those at shot o'clock because what shot of, at shot o'clock everybody rocks at shot o'clock what they're located in po no impossible They're located. I just died 1,000 times. They're located. I can't. Like, I'm not even going to say, like, okay, fine. I live near Pompano Beach. I'm not going to give you my address. They live. Not they, not they live. I don't know why I was saying they live. What? Like, Freaking Pompano Beach. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is this the real alldayshirts.com? 
Is this going to link to their website? No, I need to try to click on it. Website. If this goes to their website, I am triple thousand one hundred dead. Holy moly. This is the real deal. You know what? And I didn't even... Okay, so I'm going to back up because I'm going to show you how I even... It just blew my mind, right? So I was... Wait, where was I? I was here. So what? So I just noticed because this is my um, invoice. I'm not going to move it to the left because it has all my information on it. But to the left of this, it has my information. So this is like the order page like of my previous order. What is happening? Like I, I could have driven there. I could go and no, I need, I need to call Desiree. I need to call Desiree. Do you know what kind of opportunity I'm buying from them? I'm putting my product on them. And if you've ever seen Mama Dukes on Instagram, TikTok, like she's on everything. Mama Dukes. I gotta look up Mama Dukes because, wait, I think she's on their page. Where is Mama Dukes? Let me find, we can like see her in person. I'm acting like she's some kind of like famous, she is famous. I need, I need to talk to her because I found her through, oh my God, I don't even know what I was watching. And I was dying laughing because I used to work in retail as a store manager and I feel like our person, okay, I might not be as um, spunky and over-exaggerating as she is. I do over-exaggerate, but she, <laughs> I forgot the video that she did. Was it this one? It. This is one of them, but let me see if I can. And of course, TikTok is freaking buffering. <sighs> what like i need it to please anyway that's mama dukes that's a horrible picture so do you know her have you seen her you've seen her and she goes on and on about shirts she's just funny and she reminds me of how like if i worked in that warehouse that would be me i would have everybody hyped the heck up like it's just I wish I would have known that was even there. I would have been working there with her. Anyway, she's probably never going to see my videos. But if she does, she's going to be like, okay, what are you like obsessing? Are you like fangirling over me and my channel and my company? Like flipping and tripling. I need to find the video. But imagine if we can go there in person. Anyway, I am going to make it a point to collaborate with her at some point because I just recommended this company to someone else and I'm hoping that she, like, look at this, her, no, I need to show you. This is her. This, I'm assuming, is the boss or, like, the warehouse manager or I don't even know what her title is. What, like, what workplace what workplace are you going to find somebody that's going to be allowing that to happen? Are you kidding me? In one of my previous jobs, like, you got in trouble for, like, wearing your hair a certain way. Which is super discriminatory. I mean, I know my hair looks like crap, but, like, I'm not even talking about myself. Um, And these people are, like, twerking it up, like... Yeah, my last job had a problem with your hair, if your hair wasn't, like, and if you, um, what was it, the hair <laughs> ducking in the shirt? I mean, I, I'm not even going to get into that. Desiree, if you're watching this, you already know what I'm talking about. So, now that I know alldayshirts.com is located in Pompano and I swear I saw this before I saw I tried researching local places like I want to know okay if I need shirts right away is there a place local a small place that still sells wholesale shirts 
that I can, instead of going to Walmart and like getting a different quality and then trying to iron on something and all of a sudden the burn, the, the shirt just like burns up in the heat press because of the quality is different. Like I deal with 100% cotton. So I need, I need to have something that is, that I know is going to work. Like she has 21,000 followers, not she, alldayshirts.com has 21,000 followers. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to, we're going to take advantage of this. Uh, not in a bad way, not take advantage. What? The, I want, it needs to happen. I wanted to show you the PNG. Yes, I brought it into Canva. Those um, key keychain brush strokes. There's some, there's like a circle there. Let me just show you. I don't know why I just didn't do that this is what we have so we've got i think the like this type of style is like most popular like where it's a little jaggedy on the sides and like the hearts are really cute and stuff i'm just putting it in canva because i'm just working with it i could have just simply put it in straight into cricut um as an svg cut file and it would have been fine too so you have to select whatever vinyl you want. So say, for example, I want purple vinyl. I'm going to put the purple vinyl on the mat and then send... Actually, now that I think about it, why am I using Canva? Because then I have to still save it in Canva as a file and then upload it to... That is extra work on my part. Why? Why would I do it like that? Okay, let's try this. I'm opening Cricut. And we're going to um, see if these files can go directly into Cricut instead. So in Cricut, we're just going to do it as a cut file. And I think I've showed before in another clip, cut files are not the same as print and cut. We're not printing on the printer. We're not printing color. We are simply selecting. If I want that paint swatch in this vinyl, all I have to do is put this on the mat and get that cut file into Cricut. So we're going to start a new project and we're going to call it keychain swatches so this would probably be the time be the time to do a screen share so I'm going to do that as I'm, I'm going to start the screen share as I'm on camera here we're going to see how that works out we are an official blogger youtuber I'm starting the screen share now um so as I'm um as I'm talking here and doing a screen share, I'm also on video. So I'm going to see if I can flip this around and record from here what I'm doing. So that anybody watching this side of things isn't completely lost. Let me see. Can we zoom in a bit? All right. This might be a bit tacky, but hey, we're working with it. Show me what you're working with. All right, so we're got, we've got this camera set up and we're working with only two inches. So we're gonna make this smaller and then zoom back in to 100%. Um, and this might be a really tacky trick, but I'm gonna show this to whoever's viewing it on the other end. So I hold up a measuring tape to the screen, to the physical screen, to make sure that I'm seeing it exactly or close. See, here's 13 inches here, but it's thir like it, there's just it's just a little bit off. I'm fine with that. So this is actually going to be two inches. So here's two inches, but we need to fit a circle in there to represent what the keychain shape. I mean, keychain shape and size. So. You have different keychains. I have hexagonal keychains and I have round. So this is the round. Again, two inches. I'm going to send this to the back. Let me see. Send to back. Just for the purpose of this tutorial. So do you see? It fits. And then you can just size it. Like, you don't. obviously it's going over. But if you want to take it to the edge, you can do that. Um, yeah. 
rotate it. What it doesn't matter because it's gonna cut. It's, we're not doing anything with the circle, but simply using it as a template to make more of these. So now that I have this at the right size, I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller, just in case. So we're gonna cut a bunch of these. We're gonna cut these in different vinyls. I have holographic vinyl. I have um, metallic vinyl. I want to say solid color vinyl. It's just a permanent um, Oracle 651 vinyl. It's good for indoor, outdoor, whatever. Um, glow in the dark vinyl. And yeah, we're just going to work with what we've got and come up with some cool designs. I just needed the shape. That's all I need. I don't know how to draw this shape. In I mean, it's super easy. I could have probably done this in Procreate or Photoshop, but I... If I got it for free, it's less work on me that I don't have to worry about this. So it's a high quality image. I mean, if I zoom in, you see that? It is like crisp. So I know that when I cut it, that the, oh, look at what I'm doing, that the Cricut is not going to give me a hard time. So we're going to go with this and just for purposes of watching this I mean I think that looks good and then for text just as an ex oops let me just come up with like not even it can be text so I can say like aloha I'm just giving this as an example and let's just pick a funky writing a funky font is this the one I used the other day I don't know but let's just see uh, I'm not crazy about that one, but let's just, for the purpose of this video, say that we wanted to do this as a purple. This is not working. I think we should do this because the keychain is clear, but we're going to do it as a round, um, as a white thing. This just looks better. So say I want to put um, these words over the background. So there's going to be a keychain hole here which technically, let's be super official. I think when I did this last time, the keychain was, and you can put the size in here. So where is it? With I think it's a quarter inch. And this should adjust. Okay, definitely not a quarter inch. The hole is not that big. It must be like an eighth. Um, I Honestly, I don't even know at this point, but we're winging it like we do everything else. Let's just say that's the hole. I don't know if it is or not. But let's just say this is the hole. And for the purpose of watching, we want to make sure that our design does not go anywhere. Because this hole obviously has um, the ring has to be put through, um, fed through there. So we want to make sure that this doesn't go outside of the keychain space. Um, that this these words are big enough. Or at least the design is big enough. Remember, this is only two inches. This is basically, you're seeing, I mean, I'm seeing it in real time. Let me get a keychain and just match it up. You see that? Perfect. So this is kind of how I like to see things in real life. Like, this is how it's going to work. There's the hole and the ring. I think it's cute. Except that font kind of sucks it that way. But... For the purpose of the tutorial, that's what we're going to use, okay? Let's see, you had something like that. Aloha. Just an example. So I'm going to stop the screen share here um, and then try to remember to start a new screen share whenever I actually go to cut the file. And I'll then merge that in a video um, with the video I'm actually recording. I'll merge it then be able to put like little snippets and stuff of what I'm doing. What I should really do is do a legit, like I should do the screen share where I can actually have my face. You can see me talking because like who does both of these at one time, like double the work. Let's work smart, not hard. So um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the screen share now and then come back on when we're ready to cut. All right. So we're going to go ahead and wake her up. Wake up, Cricket. So, by the way, what 
How cool is that? This I bought from an Etsy shop. The one that says Trucker White. I bought that from an Etsy shop before I had my Cricut. Or else I would have made it myself. But yeah, I really want to get into these decals. I just, they're great. They are great. Who wouldn't want this? I think it would look, that one would have looked really good on like a truck, um, a car window. Um, what am I saying? The back window. Because see how this kind of, it's supposed to be like they're driving on it. And it's kind of uneven here. I want to say, did my husband help me install this? Why is it crooked? I don't know. But I like it. I really like it. And it's on my case. On my my Surface laptop case. It's not on the computer. I would never. This computer is too expensive for that. So when I get tired of the case or when the case breaks. Let's not hope the case breaks. The point is, it's probably a lot easier to take it off of the case than to take it off the actual back of the laptop. These stickers I made. Stack City Chick and minding my own small business. That reminds me. I have to make these. Oh my god. I'm so tired. And I have these templates still. I need to make these. These are going to be selling like hotcakes at the fest. So I am going to get it together and come back on here in a minute. Okay, I lied. So I only lied because I want to involve you guys in everything. So here, um, I'm just trying to determine what, so I have gold keychains, so it's gold, um, key rings, and this part is gold, right? So, you don't want to mix and match, because that looks ugly, like, you wouldn't put these together, yuck. And then I have these, these are more keychains. This kind to go with, obviously, the silver ones. So, tassel-wise, I'm just now realizing. Here's my little keychains, by the way. Um, I'm just realizing, when I ordered these, I didn't order a lot of the gold ones. I had never ordered them before. I placed the order for the silver ones, and then I think I realized that they sold gold. So, we are, we, you and I, my fellow listeners are just trying to determine. So if I use like this color vinyl, this is Cricut. I think I got this from Walmart. This is just Cricut permanent vinyl premium. I'm assuming it's the same as like Oracle 651, which is this. I prefer this. This, this is the type of vinyl that would work on trucks. So when I do decals for truck drivers this 651 permanent glossy is the one you want to go with that will last like five I, why was i going to say five to ten years like five to six years outside weather and all that this one same thing oracle 651 got uh not too much i mean i don't like why the big hole to make it look like i'm getting a lot this is um 12 by 6. That's not even a lot. 12 by 6. I don't, like, if I was making a truck sign and the truck sign is, like, 2 feet wide, it might not be that tall, but if it's, like, each, okay, so each row would be 2 inches and then 2, 2, 2. So if they're getting 4 lines of information at 24 inches wide, maybe. I don't, it doesn't necessarily have to be that wide. I'm just guessing. Um, this thing, you're already wasting 4 feet of vinyl plus... What did I say? Four lines times two plus the space in between. That's eight inches with a little bit of space to go. It, regardless, basically I'm considering it as you're eating up two feet of my vinyl. So that's why we charge what we charge. Um, This one, I don't know. This one would look good with, um, let me just think here. Let me just grab an awesome color. This one and... So like this. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Sorry. Like that. Silver on silver on silver. Right? But I would not use... Um, so if I was doing gold vinyl... Where's my gold at? Yep, we got these hiding down here. We got the gold. We literally, like, that's gold. We were missing the gold. 
And this is our gold. I think this is also, yep, Oracle Permanent Glossy. This is 10 feet. And they're a little bit more, so it's like, look, I'm just going to show you this. Why? It's from the same company. And I cannot believe my toes were just in the picture. So, same company. Why do we have so much space in this? Why does this look like so much more? Something's going wrong here. If this is six feet, how is that 10? It looks like triple the amount. I don't know what's happening. So that's 10 feet of gold. It looks like we got maybe six feet of silver because, oh, that's gray. I did order gray, didn't I? Well, in that case, it still looks like silver to me. And then we have the glow in the dark, which is green. And then of course it lights up in the night and then black and some holographic and all the vinyls that you see over there in the corner and i hope that the, my neighbors are not recording me recording myself and then posting it and making money on their channel with my stuff <laughs> this is so stupid but and they are going to be what raw real and on freaking cut I'm not editing. I You might see me sneeze. You might see me yawn. You might see the inside of my nose because I, and I need to blow my nose, but I don't have time. I do not. And I do not. I refuse to post up this kind of content, this prep for the fester, fester. <laughs> I was trying to say vendor and festival at the same time. And I said, fester. Uncle Fester, I refuse to post the stuff for the festival after the festival. We are posting prep videos prior to the event. And I feel like the weekend before the event, it's only appropriate, right? So definitely on social media for sure. And I might even, like, snip and clip because who the heck is going to be on my YouTube channel? I'm not going to have any traffic because I'm so new. And if you see my dusty fan, like, you're going to have to excuse me. I've only lived here 10 years, so I haven't had time to take care of that. Um, I'm going to leave the black out. Yeah, I think this is good. I'm not going to... I think we have a little too much holographic going on. So I'm going to just simmer down on that. And this is what we are going with. Do you see all these colors? Like those colors just make sense. You know when there's a there's a thing on Instagram that says show something in your office that makes sense, but then it doesn't make sense and they're like bop 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 bop. Well, I'm gonna have to like this absolutely makes sense. So if we're not making fun of the real and we're doing a real real that is in fact da 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 this makes sense right here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, clearly um, I'm on too much social media. And I'm, I'm not a social media person. But having a business has forced me to use it. So we're going to get started. I'm going to load up the um, Cricut mat. The I'm saying Cricut mat. It is a Cricut mat, but it's not that brand. The mat for the Cricut. I am going to switch it out because this is for light grip. And... We don't use light grip for vinyl. It will not stick. So I'm going to use this. Should I use the 24 inch one? I, I don't know if I can deal with that right now. Where's the green? So I have, oh, do I have another roll of vinyl? Oh my. I just have vinyl like crazy. Here's my white vinyl. Why did I not have, now it's making sense. Why would I pull the white, vi the, the black vinyl out and not the white permanent vinyl? And then on top of that, this one, 12 by 15 feet of white permanent vinyl. Like, if that doesn't make sense, I don't know what the heck does. I'm going to keep it out because this roll is basically done. The white we can really use. I want to use the white as the font um, for the keychains because it just 
works. Just works. So aside from finding those at the top, which I would have forgot about them, we're going to use this mat right here. It's the green standard grip. It's from the brand DIY it, D I Y I T. No, it's not sponsored. It's not this. It's not that. Whatever the heck the disclosure is, it's that's not. It's not what it is. We're not sponsored. Nobody knows this channel. Nobody knows who we are. As of March third. Now tomorrow, if any of my Instagram reels blow up, then I'll have to take that back. But right now, we're not famous. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Then I'm gonna um, show you exactly what I have on the mat ready to go. So here's my setup. It's pretty, you know, there we go. Don't zoom in on my stuff in the back. I might have to block that out. Okay, so here it is. We got this whole setup here. Let me turn it a little bit. So we've got this setup. I'm gonna apply some of the vinyl to this. So this is a 12 foot, mat, a 12 inch mat, 12 by 12. We're going to cut probably one, two, three, four, five. So we can do this because it's already, like this one is already open. Um, this one's already open. These two are already open. I don't know why I keep saying open, open, open. Um, now the black is open, but I don't know if I want to do black as a background right now. I want it to be colorful, fun, funky. So if we're doing two, four, two, so this is one, two, three, six. What am I saying? 12 divided by two is six. So we have four here. So I think I'm going to have to do it still. We don't have to do the entire 12. So I think we're going to test it out first with four colors because I don't know what I have. And I have to match up. I have to match up the keychains to like colors. So with the silver, what am I doing with the silver? Like, am I doing this? This is not. Guys, I mean, it works, but what am I doing with it? What am I? It's different when somebody's placing a custom order. Like, I want my name. I want this color and I want this. Like, if they tell me, okay, I want pink. Actually, I have a perfect. This, I you just, you can't order. I don't think. I don't think you can order. But this would be such a cute. I need to stop saying cute because maybe a guy's going to want this. But, like, it's going to be such an amazing combination. And this camera is not doing any justice because it's not. Why does this look so orange? It's, it's pink. Like, it's like a coral pink. So I don't know why it's coming in this way. But regardless, I mean, this would look good with it. This darker one. This lighter one. Either of them. So one is gold and one is silver. And they're so small, I can't even show you without... I mean, like... Oh, you know what? Yes. Thank you, Cricut. More like thank you, Desiree, because this, this one is actually from... It's something she bought me. There we go, dropping stuff. Stuff, stuff. So I'm going to show you the same color with gold and the same color with silver. So here we are. Same thing, same color. Gold versus silver. What's your favorite? This one. It just depends on your preference. But we are not carrying every single color in every single gold, in every single silver, like we're just, we don't have that kind of, I'm dropping everything, we don't have that kind of um, inventory. So we're doing what we can with what we have. I am going to start off, I actually, you know what, I really might, I might do this because I want to do the hibiscus in this. I just think that would be amazing. So I'm going to get some of this cut and ready to go and feel free to stay tuned. I guess I'll just sit here and I don't know, talk to you or maybe I'll do this, speed it up. I don't know. I'm going to angle it down that way so you can see me working. So 
I'm going to go ahead and cut this off because I want to get the keychain um, designs set up in Cricut and then I will flip it around and take you through the process of cutting, I almost said cutting and pasting, cutting and setting up the file to cut and actual actually watching the Cricut cut these individual things here. Um, and actually, let me just show you. I mean, I can I can load the mat later, but um. So we're gonna do one and a half. Let me just do that now. So we don't have much space to work with here, but it's fine. So we're gonna just line it up the best that we can. It has to be perfect, kind of, because you're working with some small. Um. I mean, you're working with one and a half inches here so wherever it is on the mat also when you go to cut that file move i'm going to show you how to move it around so that it matches up with what you have this actually like it's like the same color as the mat what so this should line up with like number three because one and a half plus one and a half is three for all you math whiz people yeah that looks good it's not perfect it's definitely not perfect and this is why we're very careful with what we do. So, again, when I cut it, it's not perfect. If we, if, listen, if we mess up, we mess up. We are winging it. Here's that one. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Maybe I should put that in this. And then, actually that would be like cheating because Desiree just, again, here we go with the Desiree. Desiree told me that she just used that to put in one of her vlogs. Or the vlog is not out, but it will be eventually. And I don't want to take little snippets that she's using. So how great is that? That is so cute. Like, can I just get a dress or, or some kind of, like, this would be really cute for dress colors. I need to take a picture of this. All right. I've got these vinyls here. And I just tried to match up a few keychains to see what it would look like. And hello. They are great. They're rolling all over the place, but they're great. They match. I mean, can you get any closer to this? There, you're closer. I'm talking about the color, the shade of colors. No, you can't, because I'm just amazing. So we're gonna open up this Cricut. I've got this, um, first of all, I'll take these off. I've got the screen share going right now on my computer. So I'm just gonna turn it around. We're screen sharing at the same time, um, like literally screen sharing, okay? Recording a video on how this works in, in this in the design space. So we have set up the file already to cut all of these exactly, I mean, to the closest possible. We've measured everything. So I have measured every single, like I gave myself one and a half inches of vinyl per color. So in design space, it's not that that design is not an inch and a half high. Um so we're we're leaving a little room not for error, but like we're we're leaving a little bit of room for space just in case the measuring, I mean, it's a machine and I'm a machine basically. Like we're just trying to work together and function as one. So we've got this ready to go fed into the Cricut I'm going to choose on here the premium vinyl permanent glossy and that is your like Oracle 651. Just basically any shiny like a glossy permanent vinyl like what else am I supposed to say like an adhesive vinyl it's not going to work for iron on vinyl like this is premium vinyl permanent glossy period I, I don't know what else to say about it. Um. We're going to click on that. We're going to always use more pressure. 
And then if you see the light blinking over here, I'm gonna go ahead and press that. I just gotta give this one, I, I use this, I don't really like, it's kind of sharp, but just kind of pressing that, um, see, and there's some, what is that, a scratch? I don't know what that is. Just pressing it down to get the air bubbles out before it starts cutting. We want it to look somewhat professional, right? We're gonna go ahead and get that started. And we're in business, we're in business. So the biggest thing that I have, um, why did I just lose my train of thought? The biggest concern that I have is that I'm going to have very few colors that are gonna match this well. So I don't know what, I, these definitely have to go on those designs. See, we're gonna be cutting it up. Isn't cutting up a bad thing when you cut up with somebody? Yeah, I think it is. So, this is Mr. Explorer. I is a. Do we refer to machines as Mr. As like the male version? I I don't know. But this is cutting our keychain brush strokes. So it's going to look something like, let me see if I can find it, and I will show you. In the meantime, have fun watching that cut. I'm going to open this here, so where did I find that example? Keychain, brush stroke, stoke, brush stroke, template, no, examples. Keychain brush stroke. Let me just look it up. Yes. Okay. Oh, is this free? No, that's not free. But these are so nice. Oh. Can I just like give you an example of what it would look like if there was words on it? Uh, this, I mean, there's way better. But this is the first one that I found. So. See, it's just, the, the backstroke is just the background so that you don't, if you just put the name on there, it's just clear. And then when you flip it over, you read the, the name backwards. So like at least here, it has something going on, you know? And technically, if you wanted to do this same design on the back, at least you'd have this background, do the same backstroke for the other side. But I guess you would, um, would you mirror it? No, you Mm, yeah, you would have to mirror it, I guess. Um, and then it'll it'll look good. You don't mirror the words. You would mirror the stroke part so that you can put it on the opposite side and it would line up exactly with that. And then you would just um, cut that normally. But that's just an example of um, of one. Just, I mean, just one, that's just one example. So, yeah. I'm going to stop the screen share because I really don't have any any more information. I mean, you've seen everything with the Cricut Space. It's cutting 70% and then, you know, then you unload the mat and you're done. Um, yeah, so that's it. And I just wanted to kind of come on here and show you how that works. And I mean, at least how I'm doing it. I'm sure there's many ways that you could do it. This is cool. I was going to buy these longer keychains. I think those would be great to have in the shop. However, I just don't think that I want to... Where did I just see it? Now I lost it. I don't think that I want this one here. Oh, and they have... Temp see, this is what I'm saying. Support small shops. I don't have time to be creating paintbrush strokes for keychains in SGV, SGV, in SVG format. This one has circles, long templates, sh um, different shape templates, but look at this. This is what I wanna look into for names. I think that that's simple, it's cute, fun, call it a freaking day. I think I might go on this, um, this is Creative Fabrica. And let me click on it. This actually might be the website that I got the other one from. I want to 
must say it is. I got some free files from this place before. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it, this was like somewhere in Instagram or somewhere. But So this is $4. But then it says just $1. Buy unlimited. One month trial. Cancel anytime. I don't know what that includes. Creative Fabrica must be like Creative Market. So you can go to Creative Market. You can go to Etsy. There's so many different platforms and marketplaces like online marketplaces yeah i would consider a marketplace to buy digital files support the small businesses like why are we being stingy i bought a lot of my um all of my mock-ups so like my mock-ups for the shirt designs and stuff i didn't take those i don't know the people in those pictures but who had time to sit there and do you have time for a photo shoot i don't and I don't even want to be in the photo. Like, I want to be some, have somebody in there that is not me. And, yeah, just support small shops. Four bucks. If you can't spend four dollars to support this person that took time to not only create the file for you in probably, like, all different formats. It, this includes commercial license, premium technical support, unlimited doubt. Like, your purchases are always available online and can be downloaded an unlimited number of times. And how many people do you think share those with their friends? Which is totally unfair. But, um, yeah, brush stroke for keychain SVG. Like, simple. I'm gonna have to use that. I'm gonna have to use this one. I'm gonna have to add it to the cart and buy it. Because I am gonna place an order for those keychains. And I'm gonna have the listing in my shop. I just don't know if I'm gonna have time to create something like that for the festival. And I don't wanna push myself. I have enough here to where I can have, <coughs> excuse me, at least 50 keychains. And if I can sell each keychain for 10 bucks, which is reasonable, that's what they're selling for on Etsy. 10 bucks. That's $500. $500 in keychains. I didn't even spend nearly as much as that. But I also bought blank stuff. So like, who, like, if you don't know what you're doing and you don't have the machines to do it, then obviously you have to buy the final product. Unless you want to sit here and learn like I did. I'm like, uh -huh, uh, just buy it and do it myself. Yeah, that's the problem. Then you want to do everything yourself and you don't want to, oh, I can create that template on my own. Yeah, and then run into, like, complete burn and crash, crash and burn, because you're trying to do every single aspect of every part of your life by yourself. Anyway, update on this. This is almost done cutting. We are on the last. Look at it. 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 I feel like Pat. Um, is it SpongeBob and Patrick when they? If I remember, I'll have to put a little. Look at it. Look at it. A little clip in there. I'm obsessed with SpongeBob apparently. So that's almost done cutting. I am so looking forward to getting these on keychains. Like this is a this this is look at look at this. What is this? This is an exclusive. Ready? You ready for the um what do you call this? I don't know what it's called. I almost said discharge, and that is inappropriate. Ooh, I am so freaking good. Sometimes I make myself so proud. I just, I've come such a long way. And this is craziness. Like, so great. Thank you, Cricket. Thanks, friend. You're pretty good, too. So, I, maybe I can show you. Do you see, oh, whoa. I am, like, totally zoomed in 4.7x. Like, back it up. Um... This cut, do you see? Do you see? Oh, say, do you see? That's not how it goes. So say, can you see? Yes, I can see, and it looks freaking awesome. I just wish that this wasn't reflecting so bad. To where, you know what? No, I'm gonna just get it together. I'm gonna weed out the vinyl right in front of you. Give me something to weed out. We're gonna do it on camera. We're gonna do it right now. Um, so yes, this is my ghetto rig. This is an old Clark's box from my husband's shoes. We just we work with it. And actually it creates so I stuck this here because I saw a yardstick trick. 
I need to get a yardstick. Put it under here so that when the mat comes out, <coughs> excuse me, that the mat doesn't curl down. So the longer, like, 24-inch mats don't curl. I put this here as a work space. It's by no means sturdy at all, but it allows me to rest things on it. Like, it works, right? We're on a low budget. I mean, on a, on a tight budget. So I'm going to try to unscrew this and face down a little bit so that we can I really hope that this holds in place we're gonna weed this out and I, I can't like I just can't I'm so looking forward to this look at this are you watching stop what you're doing while you're listening to my video in the background while you're cleaning your house or something and watch how great this vinyl is. Thank you to my sister because I'm pretty sure these two vinyls. Look at that. I wish all the. I would make. I'm going to be like the next Mama Dukes. Except instead of like a t-shirt warehouse. I'm going to have a vinyl warehouse. Or maybe. Actually I wonder if they sell vinyl. I'm going to have a um, keychain warehouse apparently. Or maybe a warehouse for truck decals. Ooh, got my brain rolling. Mama Dukes, we need to link up. We need to have lunch. My treat. I need to interview you. Because I'm apparently your biggest fan. I've literally been your biggest fan, I guess, since I placed my first order. I don't know. I'm just talking crap now. But Mama Dukes, yes, you're cool. And I really I really need to collaborate. If this isn't the best... I just, I'm so, like, do you, have you ever obsessed over something that you just, you just can't get over it? I don't, what is, what is wrong with me? I am like the, I'm having like a, um, what do they call those people? Dweeb? Nerds? I, there's a word. Like, um, I am geeking out. That's what it is. I'm geeking, I'm currently geeking out over vinyl, keychain, back, strokes? No, keychain, brush strokes, that's what it is. Check it out. Ta-da! Like, if that isn't perfection, guys, if that is not the greatest looking thing, like, greatest if you've seen something better than this today let me know let me know because i'm just not convinced i'm just not convinced that you could have seen something today that caught the eye like i i just can't get over it i can't like look at how many colors my office is so colorful right Yes, and the colorful freaking cups and the vinyls and all. Look at all of that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Everything's colorful. This is going to be the most colorful tent. If you can't make it, I feel really bad for you. Like, I hope that the reason that you can't make it, I hope all is well, but I hope that you can't make it because you're like in a different state and it's just inconvenient for you. But if you're local and you do not make it to our booth... I'm telling you, you're really missing out. Because it's not even the product. It's us, right? The product is important, but talk to us. Like, you want something? We we do a lot more. I We are not just keychain vendors. We are not t-shirt. We are not keychain vendors. But we do this type of stuff. Like, we can make your whole life look like that. I'm over-exaggerating now. But I just want to peel this off and just start working right now i'm gonna grab some transfer tape the magic cover one we're not dealing with like the the other one it's just too upsetting look at this look at how great so i was using this for other things everything is just working out today look so it I mean, it covers everything here, right? And then I used it yesterday to cut stuff, and it just, it works. It's the exact measurement that I need. Like, seriously, could it work out any better? So I'm going to measure out, um, I can't even see what I'm doing. 
I'm going to measure out the, the thing, the um, transparent magic cover, transparent tape, if you want to call it that. I'm just holding it up to it and I'm going to cut it. And we're going to lay the entire sheet down over it because then I will cut individually. So this has lines on it, which is super convenient. I don't even have to think about it. Um, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and work on these. Um, I might show you. You can't really see the angle. You have to be really careful with this. So here's the transfer tape. Can you see what I'm doing? Probably not. Let's see if we can angle it down a bit. I keep screwing and unscrewing this. There's got to be a better way to do this. We're going to start with gold because it's down here, right? So we're just going to lay this down on the gold. Lay it down on you want to lay. Is that the song? God. Then people are going to think I'm a Chris Brown fan. I'm sorry to tell you I am a huge Chris Brown fan. So take it or leave it. Since there's 30 that I have, 15 hexagonal, is that a hexagon? Yes, it is. It has to be. And then 15 circles. So we're going to count those circles out now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What's the difference between these? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We are good. Yeah, I don't know why some of these came in with like a uh, different, almost like a frosted, I don't remember. Some came in with gold rings and some came um, in with silver. So that, oops, I'm dropping stuff. So that might be the difference there. I just kind of tossed all the, this is where I got them. Not where, I got it from Amazon and this is the cute little bag. This is goals right here. This is, I want to have these. Okay, so we are going to not worry about the rings at this moment because that's a lot of work. I need to focus on getting, um, getting the, what am I saying? Getting the protective sheet off of there. All these have sheets on them. So I just usually, I don't know how anybody else does it. I just take it carefully, hook it, and peel it off. Peel that thing off of there because nobody has fun. And try not to touch this. I don't really want to put alcohol on it because I was put. it's just a lot of extra work to do it that way. So I think I'm going to just put it on there and hope for the best, but don't touch that because the grease from your hand will, it'll just be a problem. So for this first example, we're going to do five, um, oh, not five. We're going to do a couple hexagons and a few circles. And they actually fit. So like the hexagon ones fit this if you position it correctly. Like it, it fits perfect. You have to just put it right to the edge. But that fits perfectly. Perfectly. So we're going to use it. We're going to use it. So I'm going to do um, a few of these a few of the circles and two hexagons to just see how it comes out and then go on from there and if I can I've still got 45 minutes until two o'clock I'm promising myself I'm going to bed at two okay I'm stopping at two
but I left the transfer tape on when I did that. So I can still rub more. Um, this one, I don't know why it's like bubbling up more than the others, but it's still really good. So we're going to go with it. Not everything is perfect from far away. Like you can't tell. And if they look at that and they're like, oh my God, this is the worst. This has like bubbles. This is disgusting looking. Like I freaking hate it. Now this, see, it's a lot brighter on this side than it is on this side. So in this case, I'm not sure what I would do. I think I want to wait until I um, see this stuff in the sun and the, like tomorrow morning and go from there. So this video is long enough. I am going to simply finish up here doing this and then we're going to cut the video because nobody wants to sit here listening to me do this. is really good. I'm still geeking out over craziness. It's not that serious, Sabrina. Stop geeking out. Can I take a picture of this? Yes, I can. We're going to take another picture because we're going to flip. We're going to take a photo because I have to take photos for not only for the shop, but I have to take photos for, this is how we do it. We don't have special equipment and now we have some sort of like lighting issue going on. So I wonder if I could just take it this way. Oh yeah, let's move as much as we can. So hopefully this comes out decent. I can always crop what I need to. Um, yeah, just taking pictures from all different from all different angles here. I, I have a um, um, thing that I wanted to use for like taking, what do you call that? Like a backdrop basically is what I'm trying to say. And I totally, st I stopped recording. I meant to press the camera. So we're still where we were. Um, hopefully that's taking proper, like it's, it's working. Okay, so here we go. So we have the gold. We have a gold here, a gold here. Guys, hey, do you see how long this takes? Do you see the, in it's not hard. It's not, it's just time consuming. But like I didn't go to key keychain college. I didn't go to cricket college. I didn't go to anything like so, and I'm only one person and I'm trying to do everything and I am exhausted. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I am so freaking tired. I don't even know how I'm awake at this point. So you have the keychain part, uh, the ring part, sorry. You have the tassel part. Then we need to make sure we have this part here. And I need to find the gold. Actually, the gold ones wound up being at the bottom. Yes, I remember in the bag, they, they wound up falling down. So there are some in here. I'm just gonna grab two of them. There's one. I really need to get it together. Like I need to get some little storage from Dollar Tree that can hold this type of like stuff. I need, I'm just working out of the bags that came with, that this stuff came in. There's another one. All right. So we've got two gold, um, two of these gold, three of the other one. I'm sorry, if my background is distracting with all this stuff, I'm sorry, but this is real life. Raw, real, and unedited, once again, part like, 1,000. I don't, I don't know how many times I've said that, but we have three. Come on. Yes, three. Okay. Then I use again, we are definitely going to bed after this because I cannot keep my eyes open. I'm sitting here working and having maybe I need some water. It is currently 1.37 a.m. Let me just show you that I'm not lying. 1.37 a.m. We are now 
March 3rd. Now we are a week from when we have to leave. So let's continue. All right, so for this, I'm gonna grab, this is how I do it. Please, if you know of a better way, if you have a better tool like this, I did not buy this for that reason. This was something that we had in our toolbox. So what I do is, now that I think about it, I, you can, you can put the tassel on at any time. The tassel, I've seen it all different kind of ways. Some people put the tassel and like ta like this through here, and then the tassel through here. And I find that very tacky. It just makes this stick out and it, no. So we're gonna do this, okay? I'm gonna get as close to the camera as I can. We're gonna put it through here. And this is so easy, so easy. It's just working and then you just take it and you just pinch it closed. Now I do it also this way and close it as best that I can and make it look attractive I mean as decent and attractive as you can make a keychain look and close it um, you know the right way because you don't want the, the freaking thing flying out they're flying around the seafood fest and like there goes your not only did you lose your keys you lost your keychain so we're good this looks good right looks sturdy looks great and I'm ready so this now this just slides in to the um, hmm. shoot I'll sell the freaking um, what do you call it but see then it's really strict here the tassels that's what I'm not understanding so I like it like this I like it like that okay I can't do gravy but I like it here, but then it's stiff up here too. And it wasn't like that yesterday. So I think some of these have bigger, um, maybe it's the gold ones actually, um, wrap around this, but it's okay. When you display it, when you display your keychain, you can put it here, but you don't want to block what the heck you, your design. It's going to be on your key ring like this, right? Who is going to be worried about this tassel not being able to spin? Be real guys. Be real. Not everything is perfect. So I'll do one more. You know what? No. I'll just show you everything. We're just going to do it fast. So, here's the other one. I'm definitely going to have to speed this up. I'm sorry if my fingers are dry and crunchy looking. Oops, I forgot this. Because I am just... Like, I just need to take a shower and put some lotion on. But... Yeah, see, I need like... <laughs> First of all, sturdier hands. Like, why are my hands shaking? Close it good. Check. That's that. I think this is gonna work good for this. Because the keychains I did last night for the revetest ones those spin around see the gold the gold spins around this no matter so definitely that i'm gonna have to start buying the gold because the gold is, is just better number two down we're gonna do the silver are these changing color i hope not I just think I like the look of gold more now than I did the silver. But I bought the silver first and it was like trial and error. But I can offer both in my shop. It's fine. And I think they have rose gold as well. Ooh, I better buy that one next time. I really want to sit like when people, anybody buys keychains or starts looking at my keychains, I'm going to say if you don't see what you like, check out the um, Etsy shop and place your order. You can place your order here and let me know what you want i will take notes in person literally take notes um and get them what they want because the, the rose gold is very nice i have not seen them in person but they look great online okay well this one is a little bit 
all over the place. I, I just need better tools, I think. Mm, maybe that works. Life isn't perfect, so we're just gonna go with it. Yeah, this silver, the silver bit stuck. The silver ring, but this is pretty dang close, right? Pretty close. I'm only concerned about the ones that, um, the ones that are not gonna have matchy matchy perfect matching stuff. That's gonna be difficult. But it's okay. They're just keychains. There's like a war happening across the world, and if you're if the only thing that you're worried about is your keychain, uh, you need to reprioritize your life. I mean, I know the only thing I'm doing here is sitting here doing keychains, but that's for you guys. I hope you learned something from this. I hope you... I don't know. I, I just hope for this channel... That I haven't even like the channel is created, but I have zero videos up there. But I hope that eventually, when I get my videos up there, that it just grows um, really fast with the right type of followers. I would, you know, like don't follow me if you're not into this kind of stuff, please, because I don't want to bore you. Because I will talk your head off about craziness. Great, the purple, the berry, whatever it is. Last one. Can you believe it? We were doing, we've done five. Or we've done four and we're doing five now. But I, I'm gonna meet my goal. I still have 15 minutes until two o'clock. So we're gonna put it through here again, right? And then we're gonna close it. You don't want it like, sometimes it just bends in a funky way and you can't really, once it's on the acrylic, you don't, you only want to take it so far. You don't want it to ruin the acrylic either. So try to fix it the best you can. And if it's just not working, it's fine. It is a dang keychain. It's a keychain. I've never seen somebody like get upset over a keychain. So let's not start now, you know? My keychain was like, no. Especially just the part that doesn't even make sense. The part that's, the part that squeezes together. I've had keychains that just flew off. But I'm talking about this part that isn't necessarily like this. It's not necessarily a circle now because it's just more like, I don't know. It's working. It's there. As long as it doesn't fly out of the um as long as the acrylic doesn't fly off and if it does pick it up and put it back on i want to like pick up your emotions and move on and that is that so we have five beautiful keychains ready to roll it's just waiting on a design so if i can offer these as a regular item in my shop oops with these i mean these are just five colors do you know how much vinyl oracle has it's crazy it's just crazy but i, I don't have the kind of um bandwidth inventory space i don't have any of that to carry so many different things so we have to keep it narrowed down but i'm really liking this combination and i want to see about putting this holographic that holographic vinyl on here so what I'm thinking is this black, this black on like this, I 
I think I might have, I, I just might have, I, I don't know what I'm going to do, but if it looks great, I might just have to keep it myself. Um, so on the darker backgrounds, I don't really have any light colored backgrounds. Like, I have this, this silver I showed you before, and then I have this, but I don't know if that's a good match to have that over this. It might. It really might. I am going to have to try a few things, and we're going to have to experiment tomorrow. Um, it's been a long day, and I appreciate everyone for tuning in, whoever that is. Nobody's tuning in. I'm here by myself. <sighs> He's tuning in. He's always tuning in behind me. And he's saying, good job, wife. There's a picture of my son here. <laughs> Not a picture. A picture he drew in class. And I want to say maybe he was in fourth grade. Third grade? I don't remember. But um, let me show you what it says. <gasps> he wrote his name here. Um, so it's him with thinking bubbles. I don't know what that is. Is that a pet? Is that a bug? I don't know. And then I think that's him walking somewhere. I'm really not sure what those are, but he's thinking and he says, I have a question. So this little guy has a question, right? What is happening when you work? Good or bad? And I have to place a check mark or an X mark on the answer and I never filled it in. Isn't that crazy? This is like years old. Um, the check mark is good. The X is bad. So get it together, mom, fill it out and tell me how you feel when you work. Are, is it good? Is it bad? Now, I don't remember if he, I mean, if I, where I was working when he made that, but I kept it up there since he gave it to me because it just made me think like, wow, if he's at school and there's so much going on, so much chaos at school and he has the time to think about his mom at work while well, she's at work and he's at school and worrying like that drawing looks like you are the most worried kid that I'm something is bad, that something bad is happening. Are you just making sure that everything is good? You're just asking and I, I don't know. So I, I just thought it was really cute. But anyway, they kind of join me every day, whether they're here or not, both of them. Um, the, the little cartoony drawing and this um, other drawing. So I'm exhausted. I don't know if you can tell. I don't think you can tell because I told you this morning that I was ready and my hair looks the same as it did when I finished the day. So tomorrow is definitely a hair wash day. When I start, um, look at that. That's just too much oil in my hair. Um, I, I can go like two days, three days tops with like, and then it starts looking really bad. Tomorrow, big things. Okay. Big freaking things. I need to get those signs done. The signs that I plan on um, having, I think my idea for it would be to put vinyl on the actual plexiglass, um, but then put a, okay, so there's photo paper. I'm going to, I'll have to do a whole video tomorrow morning of this, but this, I'm just say, stating my thoughts so that I can, um, Come on here tomorrow and look, it's back again. How like how much did I film today? It's showing that I have recorded 17 minutes of 52 minutes, meaning I only have 52 minutes left before my phone starts blowing up in a bad way. Like meaning like I've got to move stuff over again. I did record a lot today. I did. I recorded a lot and I posted a few snippets and clips. Like I posted like three Instagram reels today. So I'm proud of myself. And I need to do that like every day for the rest of my life. Until the seafood fest is over. And then even after that. I just don't have all the different vinyls to match all the different. I do have light. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? So I do have this. So I'm definitely going to be cutting some of this vinyl tomorrow. 
I'm going to be cutting some of the glow in, glow in the dark um, for this, like, I don't know how many of these there are. But for, like, the yellow ones, that would just be really good to just keep it simple for the yellow. I do not have any other yellow vinyls. This is more like a gold, but this gold is okay. Like, I would rock this gold with this gold. It's okay. It's okay. Because this shimmers and shines and, and it just looks fine. It looks fine. It might actually look even better than the one that's on there. So, we're going to make it work. It's going to be fine. I, I can't bother with the nitty gritty. Oh, it doesn't matchy match 100%. I just don't have time. This looks good with this, even though it's a darker green. In person, it is totally fine. It is, it's going to look great. So, tomorrow, I'm going to make my list right now. <sighs> tomorrow, we are going to finalize the key. So, guys, it's blank work with me let's do a work with me video a plan with me oh my god this is a freaking plan with me they have plan with me and i'm going i used to watch plan with me because i used to love planners and planner stickers and whatever whatever off topic but let's do a plan with me we're gonna write down my plans and we are going to do finish the we're gonna finish the keychains tomorrow okay well first and foremost convert kit tickets so i'm gonna put that first convert kit tickets feature requests. I need to work on some of those. Then we're going to do the um, finish the keychains. And I don't know if I can work without the keychains being out of my way. So I might actually have to do those first because they're like taking over. So at least the ones that I've peeled. Um, so what did I peel? No, I only peeled five. The ones that I've laid here. So the ones that have already cut vinyl four, I want to get those out of the way because that would give me 30 keychains out of the 50. Oh my God. I, I can't believe it. What is happening to my life? I was supposed to show you how these look. I am excited as crap to show you this. Like, I amaze myself sometimes. This is why I have to record when nobody else is around because they're going to be like, who, like, you're just, you're obsessed with yourself. I'm not, I promise you I'm not. If anything, I'm not obsessed with myself. I'm obsessed with what I make. Can you do that? Can you be obsessed with what you make? I'm obsessed with, I'm not even obsessed. I don't, do I have a brand yet? I just have a logo and that's it and some, like, what is happening? Can I just sell these all the time? My heart is so full right now. I, like, you have no idea. It's took me so long. It's taken me. What kind of English is that? It's taken me so long to come up with something that I am very, very proud of. Obviously, aside from my son. What? He comes first. Obviously, I'm, I'm more proud of him than anything, any stupid keychain. But um, I have come so far in not only saying, oh, I know how to use these tools. I know how to make this. I know how to do it, yes, but that's not even a quarter of it. I'm proud of what I'm making. I'm confident in what I'm making for the most part. Confident in the sense of I know that I, I know what I want to do. And that's a huge thing because I was like, before I just used to like sit here and just try to come up with random things like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to, no, I know what I want to do now. And it just hit me like at the end of last year and I don't know what it was. I can't give you the, I wish I was recording then. I wish I was recording then and um, to be able to tell you. This was the moment where I was like, I know what I want. This is exactly what, like, don't get me wrong. I don't have a vision board. I don't have, uh, clearly my planner is completely empty. It's March, I still didn't fit. We're three days into March now. And I haven't even, have I paid a bill yet? Like, I, uh, I gotta pay mortgage. I gotta pay. So I have so many things. But I am so focused on this right now that I'm like, those can wait. So... 
simple, right? We're just going to pop these on here for like some visual context so that you can see that all this is going to come together. So these keychains that have been psyching over for the last five weeks, I don't even know. Oh, I didn't grab enough of these. So all the keychains that um, I've been delaying and been afraid of, I feel so freaking accomplished. I made five keychains. Five. However, I have all 30 of these cut already. These are ready to be placed. I, the most work is literally peeling this, the protective layer off and hooking the, um, the thing through it. And then, well, we got to figure out what we're putting over all of these, but that is, you know, what would be great now that I'm thinking about it, you know, it would be really great if I leave it like that and then customize it for people at the event. Oh my God, I just thought about that. Can you imagine if I had time? If I had a Cricut Joy, which is like probably a fifth of the size. I have never seen one in, per I've seen the box in the store. I've never seen it in real life, but, and I don't know how wide the mat is either. Is it six inches? Six inches would mean that it's like, what you can't even see. Six inches is half of this mat, so it's right here. So that would be so convenient to have a Cricut Joy, which I just don't have the money to invest in that right now on top of everything else. To have that, to be able to print out names on the freaking spot. I would be able to charge like $15 for that. Because why? Because their name would be on it. I'm not saying I can't do it, but do I have time to, like, I'm only bringing the cricket down to the keys with the intention of potentially running out of, um, running out might be a good thing, but I would have to then make more Saturday night to supply everybody that's coming in Sunday. So this is definitely an option. If they want to wait for it, if they want to wait for it, I, I just don't want to get caught up in doing that. And then what, I just, I don't know if they're going to have Wi-Fi there. I don't know. But how adorable is this stuff? I don't really Google over stuff. Most people are like, oh, babies, puppies. I love animals, but like keychains. Who psychs out over keychains? Who gets this excited? It's not a newborn baby. It's not like, that's what I do. People probably think I'm so freaking weird. Like you're in your office just talking to yourself, like getting all, like you're in love with, this is by far my favorite. This has to be, this, I'm so glad I went with the hexagon. So glad. Oh, what? Let me put it back on here. And this is why I did the old trickaroo and told you in probably another video, it's always in another video, that I am securing these keychains to the cards by putting a jewelry price tag, it's like, I've, I've showed them already, um, through here. So I do this, I feed it through here, from the back, feed it through here, push the tape down, push the tape down, and it holds it in place because they keep flying around. They will hold like this if you're holding it like this and not jumping around and like, oh, with my excitement, I can't keep it straight. So that's that. Um, they just look really good. I'm gonna show you the final kind of layout, um, what they all look like next to each other. I take a little picture. Um, this is festival prep. The Chronicles, the Fest Chronicles look. How amazing are those? What are those? They are awesome designs by Sabrina Marie Art. Get to know it. Because when we blow up, just say you were here when stuff was blowing up.
You were here when stuff was blown up in a bad way. You were here when stuff was blown up in a good way. And that you're here to stay. Does that rhyme? I feel like that was super annoying. Um, yeah, so let me just close this off with what I'm talking about. I wish I could just package this up and sell them right now. That little piece of tape. Do you see it? That tape holds that keychain in place. And you can't see it back here because I so conveniently put the thank you over it for aesthetic purposes. But you can see that that jewelry tag holds that in place. And for signage, if I can find that jewelry display Lazy Susan that I keep talking about. Yes, I'm going to call it a Lazy Susan. Because it spins. It's just a rotating jewelry rack. Let's just call it that. If I can manage to find one of those with where I can put like a sign. Um, what am I thinking of? Like maybe something you would see in a mall or. I'm so sorry. I'm not there. It's really late. And now it's 212. You see, this is crazy. Um, where I can pop an acrylic sign, a small acrylic sign, just a really small. I even have one here. It's like five by seven or whatever and put it, um, on the top of it. Even if it's rests on top, if it's something just to show the pricing, because these keychains are going to be on the same racks as the fuzzy ones. So like these are going to be probably on the top because they are my product. I am so proud of myself. You guys, I can't, I, th I feel like I'm going to cry right now. It's so dumb, but I am so motivated after this. I am so glad that even though the only thing that I feel like I accomplished today before the keychains was, um, well, stuff that was going on with the trucking company, first of all, finding him a load, finalizing the other load, like whatever, whatever, um, the back end stuff. And what was it? Oh, ordering shirts. That was a project in itself. That was a project in itself. And that is maybe, um, maybe I can do a little chatty chatty. What do they call it? Chatty chat with me. <laughs> I told you I'm not trendy. It's not a chat with me. Tomorrow I will get on and I will record um, what I went through. I, I will record. I will record myself going over. Of course I'm going to record myself. What else would I be doing if with the camera? I'm going to come on here tomorrow and I'm going to go over how it went with the all day shirts order. And then maybe follow up on Mama Dukes because I'm telling you. If I don't snip and clip something and put it on TikTok and Instagram and um, mention them and hashtag and the crap out of the listing, like I, the listing, the, the post, I need her attention. I need to get her attention, period, period. No exceptions. Like she's right down the street. Like let's have lunch. Let's meet up. How can we collaborate? How can we help each other? I, I, I need, I need to, I need to, it can't hurt. Um, yeah, I'm all in. For promotion stuff like promotional stuff okay so tomorrow we were writing a to-do list oh god like do you see do you see we were making a to-do list and then what did i do i short-circuited and remembered that i have backing cards that i was working on how long for the keychains that i just made so we are back in tomorrow tickets for um like support tickets working on feature requests. I'm not going to do all of them, but I'm going to do a little bit by a uh, little by little for the remainder of the week. Um, so I'll probably do half of them tomorrow or whatever. I, I just, I can't be letting that run into the weekend. So tickets, feature requests. Um, but prior to that, I need to put the, get the keychains off my desk. So at least, so finish the 30 keychains. I'm going to put that finish 30 keychains. What was I saying about the chatty chat vlog? Oh, so I got to remind myself on camera so I don't forget. So finish the 30 keychains first and foremost. That's after I sit down at my desk, like after we do the whole morning and all the other stuff we go through. Then convert to tickets and feature requests. We're going to do that. Then we're going to do the um, 
cups that are sitting over here because that's if I'm gonna have permanent vinyl out I'm gonna have the same like it uses the same mat whereas if I was doing um, thank you um, stickers and thank you like using cardstock and stuff I have to use that white mat uh, what the 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 light blue mat for those things because it's like a lighter stick like it, it just it's not as sticky this is standard grip and the other one is light grip that's what it is I think that's why I said white because it's light grip um so we have to do those so I'm gonna write down finish tumblers no excuses I'm not I'm just putting an exclamation I'm not putting no excuses finish the tumbler so I can move the tumblers over call it a freaking day done 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 get the holographic vinyl off my desk we can get the keychains off my desk and just continue I still need to finish start the hats so I'm gonna put on here the goal of that finish the 30 keychains that shouldn't be hard that's just gonna be the backing until I unless I you know get a burst of an idea and know what I want to put on it but I might go with this with a simple you want your name your name is I don't know Amber <laughs> I just thought of that then we are only offering white vinyl so I would put her name in white vinyl here Amber and that's it that is it and it doesn't take much I can have these pieces cut like in two inch um because the circles and the hexagons are two inches I can have it cut um a template in Cricut with one font have that set up so if somebody comes by and says I want the keychain whatever that's there so I might just go with a few like um designs that have I don't want to keep doing tropical 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 because it's not just a, uh, not tropical I'm sorry fishing 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 because it's not just about fishing you know it's about supporting small businesses and of course people so why can't a business owner have a keychain with their name on it or even their business name but we don't want to get carried away um yeah that is I feel like that's gonna look great that white vinyl for wording over these designs might be winner winner chicken dinner like I might have to do that I'm gonna take I'm gonna mock it up that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a mock-up because I don't want to use design I don't want to put designs over it right now and I want it to look professional so not that if I don't it's not gonna look for whatever so I'm already gonna have this mat out to deal with the um the other stuff so <coughs> my throat is so dry so I'm going to um this video is 46 minutes long with the freak I don't know what part we're gonna keep here but <clears throat> I'm losing my voice because I've been talking all day to the camera so I'm gonna have this mat out already I so I'm just gonna get it done we're gonna get keychains done we're gonna get the tumblers done and we are going to, I really want to print more decals, but at this moment, I really need to be mindful of my time. And I need, if I'm ordering that many shirts, I need to keep cutting the shirt vinyl. I just need to be ready with the shirts. So I think for Saturday, while I'm sitting here, I'm going to put on here weed shirt vinyls. And actually, I might do that for Friday. So like, vinyls for shirt. Vinyls for shirts. But tomorrow for sure, vinyls for hats. So, you guys, whoever you are, gotta keep me accountable or this shit ain't getting done. I gotta fix the koozies this weekend. I'm gonna make that a Saturday project. If I don't get to it, I don't get to it. There's enough koozies that I have that are already completed and done. But I would prefer to sell those at a festival that's about fishing than to sit here and have fishing koozies that are half-assed. Like, I can't. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Not that's it, but, oh, and the, um, cards that I still haven't finished. So the thank you, thank you stickers, QR stickers. So I'm going to put that as well. That's going to be maybe for Friday or Saturday. So QR stickers slash thank you stickers. 
and the t-shirt um t-shirt instruction tags whatever whatever i'm gonna save that for the week i i have i have some already so not i mean we have this has to be all done i i don't have all of the t-shirts here so let's work on stuff that we can work on that is really I prefer to have no tags, like, uh, but I, I need the vinyl on the shirts. I can't sell blank shirts, but they have a thank you tag on it. Thanks for buying a blank shirt. Like, that's not going to make sense. So let's do stuff in the order that makes sense and get it freaking done. So tomorrow, finish 30 keychains. Do the tickets for support um, and the feature requests. Finish the tumblers and cut the damn vinyl for the hats and do the hats. Do the hats. And yeah, that'll take care of the tumblers. That'll take care of the freaking hats. That'll take care, like, it's going to cut out a lot of stuff that I've been worrying about a lot. I, I feel so great right now. Friday, vinyls for shirts, QR stickers and the thank you stickers, and the washing instructions. So, um, tags for shirts. And actually, those hats, I need to put tags on those hats too. I need to put tags on those hats because I'm making them tags for shirts, hats, and, um, washing instructions for the tumbler. Oh God. I know I'm like sitting here recording myself. You probably hear the sound of my marker. Washing instructions for cups period so that's it we've got our to-do list for the next couple days few days um and i oh god i was supposed to order from amazon i've got to do that tomorrow place last minute order with amazon place amazon order because i i can i can buy tables um from home depot so I'm going to put that as like tables from Home Depot, question mark. I'm going to have to plug in my, look, I've got like a minute left to talk to you. Um, tables from Home Depot, question mark. Because I have a Home Depot credit card. I'm pretty sure that they sent me a promotion, um, like a promo code or something. So let me see, coupon, question mark. Oh my God, I hope I didn't throw it away. I had to have say it. You know what? If I didn't save it, I'm a horrible person. I keep saying I'm a horrible person. I'm not. I, I have to have it here somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to cut the video. I've got what I've got. Uh, I have written down what I have planned. And I'm leaving Sunday blank because I think Desiree's coming over one of these days, Saturday or Sunday. So much stuff done between tomorrow and the next day that she's going to come back and she's going to be like, I'm so behind, which I don't want her to think that, but I want to feel as prepared and ready as she looked when she came here the other day. She had so much stuff and I was like, I need to get it together. So I want to be able to be her inspiration as she was for me the other day. So I'm cutting it off here. Thanks for watching. This is now an hour long video and we will see you in the morning. We, as in you and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.